number six is snowball uh, reduce the principles of animalism uh, uh, animalism to seven commandments this is very important remember okay and uh, i repeat uh, snowball reduce snowball who is a snowball he's uh, one of the leaders one of the uh, leaders and who is he? he is he a pig or um, he's a pig he's a pig okay good remember this yes is snowball reduce the uh, principles of uh, animalism to seven commandments w what were these commandments you, you, you are supposed to remember these commandments because they, they they are very important sometimes you have a long question also essay type question also on seven commandments like how seven commandments are formed and how were they violated gradually uh, as the novel uh, progresses okay they, they can be a very long question also uh, like essay type question so i'm just uh, you know i would be writing seven commandments here which wimper wimper is a solicitor remember this solicitor here i can write seven commandments okay Okay. Yes, uh, you know, uh, the pigs revealed that uh, during the past three months, uh, they had taught themselves to read and write. Pigs were the cleverest and they were the most intelligent animals, you may say, on the farm. So they, they had learned to read and write. Isnobal took a brush, uh, renamed the manor form as Animal form, I told you that earlier this form was called as manner form. Remember this. What was it called? Manner form. M A N O R, manner form. He removed uh, the manner form um, the, from the signboard and what did he write? He wrote animal form there. And they, they, they further explained uh, that they had reduced the principles, uh, principles of animal uh, animalism to seven commandments remember these okay seven commandments are very important and you must uh, like write them down in your notebooks the seven commandments would become an old trivial law uh, by which all animals on the animal form must live ever after this was decided okay so they ran thus who, who wrote the seven commandments snowball, snowball wrote the seven commandments very good so, what was the first commandment? The first one was whatever goes upon, whatever goes upon, please write them down, okay? Two legs. I'm taking this much. Whatever goes upon two legs is an enemy. What does it suggest? Who is an enemy? Human beings. Human beings because they have two legs. So whatever goes upon two legs is an enemy. This, this was the first commandment. They, 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 they considered man to be their biggest enemy. Why? Because man was consuming everything which was produced by the animals. Uh, let it be, uh, say, may, may, may it be eggs or milk or whatever they, they, they thought that man didn't produce anything and yet uh, man consumed everything that's why they considered man to be the biggest enemy so whatever goes upon two legs is an enemy and whatever goes upon two uh, whatever goes upon whatever goes upon four legs four legs and the later part was added afterwards. Whatever goes upon four legs and has wings. And has wings. Is a friend. Okay. Because you know, this, uh, the birds and all, they said, well, we do have two legs. So how can we be enemies of animals? So whatever goes upon four legs. That means animals and has wings, that means bird, birds, the so birds and animals are friends. So whatever goes upon four legs and has wings is a friend. This is a, this is a very important commandment. 
ओके एंड नो एनिमल शेल नो एनिमल शेल वेयर क्लोज मीन्स वॉट एवर इज डन बाय ह्यूमन बींग्स और वॉट एवर दे डू दे वोट इमिटेट दैम दे वोट द एनिमल्स वोट फॉलो दैम so they they hated everything that was done by mr jones or the human beings the human race so no animal shall wear clothes number 4 no animal shall drink alcohol who drinks alcohol men okay drinks alcohol no animal shall have you seen the movie 10 commandments okay in bible you have 10 commandments i mean the old testament there so like that's why it, it all begins no any no 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 man should do no man should steal this is how they begin so that's why you know uh, the name commandment is given to them no animal shall drink alcohol okay no animal shall drink alcohol and no animal uh, shall no animal i hope you are writing them down yes sir no no animal shall sleep in bed sleep in bed who sleeps in bed human being sleep in bed mr jones so no animal shall sleep in bed no animal no animal this is very important you know and very meaningful no animal shall kill no animal shall kill any other animal this is very important what do human beings do they kill other human beings which is a bad thing so this is very you know suggestive and very meaningful and is 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 a satirical statement you know no animal shall kill any other animal since killing is done by human beings so animals should imitate them and the last one is all animals are equal this is all the uh, all animals are equal this is also important very important the most important last though not the least okay last but not the least all animals are equal human beings should be saying this okay but if we do not find equality in human beings we are the rich we are the poor the blacks the white the apartheid i mean you know so many like discriminations are there prejudices are there on the basis of languages on the basis of caste on the basis of religion so many so like men they do not follow this maxim all animals are equal all men are equal they should be saying that all men men we should love one another so this the i repeat this is something very important whatever goes upon two legs is an enemy this is the gist of the animal form you may say formation of these seven commandments and the violation of these commandments in the course of the novel forms the backbone of the novel okay It is 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 a you know central thing. The entire story of animal form is based on these, on on these seven commandments: formation and violation. How do they break? This happens, you know. Rules are formed, but rules are not, uh, say, followed by the rich or by the powerful. Rules are meant only by or only for the poor. this is what you would find in the course of the novel whatever goes upon two legs is an enemy whatever goes upon four legs and has wings is a friend no animal shall wear clothes no animal shall drink alcohol no animal shall sleep in bed no animal shall uh, kill any other animal all animals are equal okay yes now what problems did the animals face in the beginning you know like you know when in fact we got freedom from the english in the 1947 we faced innumerable problems why because a late was in our rule so 
it was very difficult to rule the country in the beginning and that's why you you must have you must have heard the speech of jawal nehru the stoic speech the artist with destiny remember yes. so yes so in, initially you know um, when you take a charge of something uh, it is difficult to handle it so same was there uh, on the animal farm also what problems what problems did the animal face in the beginning what work did the pigs do the rebellion had been achieved and the animals were in control of the farm now they had overthrown mr jones or they they had thrown mr jones away from the animal farm so whose rule was there in uh, in the animal farm now it was the rule of animal farms yeah animals they were the masters okay they were the masters of the farm they were not ruled by anybody they had their own rule there so now they needed to harvest the hay however it was a difficult task as the animals were not adapted to the tools that were required for harvesting they didn't know how to plow and how to use those tools so it was difficult for them this is very funny but you know this is uh, this is very significant more about the tools required the animals to stand on their hind legs this is again very funny they, they, they were not used to stand on their hind hind legs and work as human beings do the pigs were the you know think tanks they they would do all the thinking work why because they were considered very intelligent animals so the pigs were the think tanks of the farm and hence they did not work at all they wouldn't be working on what pretext when they working they would uh, give the pretext that they were very intelligent and so they they were doing the work of thinking they were doing the brain work they were the think tanks remember the, the phrase uh, they assumed the position of leadership and started to direct and supervise the functioning of the farm this is very beautifully written in fact you know it like it never goes stale it never becomes stale even if you read it you know two three four times or 10 times you, you would find it very interesting very moving why because you identify it with, with the things that go around you so you understood the problems at all this this was an, um, an interesting question okay now this is question number 8 okay uh, give any three examples give any three examples of how of how the animals work together in harmony to take care of the farm means how do the animals uh, work together in harmony to take care of the farm because you know like there were different animals there there were cows horses as you saw and goats sheep and all so, so they, they they were all supposed to work together in harmony so as to take care of the farm nicely so uh, what did they do for that every animal in the farm a uh, played its part to take care of the farm the pigs you know uh, who were the think think tanks made different policies for the betterment of the farm and constantly motivated them motivated the other animals what did they do they they uh, form different committees Uh, most of the hard labor was done by the two horses boxer and claw boxer boxer was the you know say most hard working animal there on the animal farm even the ducks and ducks i am mean, i am talking about the small animals the ducks and hens carried tiny wisps of hay in their beaks and ensured that there was no wastage now you don't know, like they, they had a kind of satisfaction why because they were working for themselves they were not working for the human beings who were their enemies they were not working for mr jones who, who, who was very tyrant they were working for themselves so they had this satisfaction so everybody was working very hard even the small animals were working very hard okay now this is this, this is, uh, is uh, very symbolic very suggestive in this question question number 9 what is it like um now what was the color what was the color of the flag that was hoisted every sunday like, like you know 
although they hated animal and they said that they wouldn't be imitating uh, human beings yet you know they were doing things which human beings do like human beings hoist uh, flag so they also had their uh, flag and they hoisted it on every sunday and his snowball painted uh, this is very really interesting a hoof and a horn on it in white color what did he paint a hoof and a horn remember this he painted a hoof and a horn on it this is very symbolic so he explained that uh, uh, what what's the color 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 of the um, flag it was green in color it was green in color and you know who find ho horn they, they 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 were white in color that they were painted by isnobol he explained isnobol explained that the green color represented the green fields of england now this is patriotism means like animals they loved their country and which country they belong to england he explained uh, that the green color represented the green fields of england while the hoof and horn signified the future republic of animals which would arise when the human race had finally been overthrown they although you know they had uh, they, they had overthrown mr jones but still human beings were residing on the earth so uh, this this was this was a dream uh, you know when the entire human race um, vanished from the earth is it okay yes yes now this is question number 10 yeah the, now this is very important this, this, this we, i i i i would suggest you to take it down and uh, listen to it uh, very um, attentively i point out the differences in the characters of snowball and napoleon snowball and napoleon they are the two important picks often you have a question a long question there in exam compare and ca contrast the characters of snowball and napoleon these characters are a total contrast to each other as i told you earlier so you you even get a long question although here we are discussing a small short question but in exam you might have a long question also also compare and contrast the characters of snowball and napoleon you, you may even have separate separate characters you do have separate character sketches to write but the, you also get compare and contrast so this is important snowball as i told you was a patriot and he thought only for the betterment of the form and its animals okay as, as all leaders think all good leaders think i must say or no good leaders do not think about their personal good their personal benefit they think about the betterment of the society this is not their countrymen so was snowball he was also a visionary and came up with great ideas every now and then he reduced the seven commandments you know these seven commandments um into into a single mix maxim for the stupid animal especially you know sheep uh, they they were, they were not able to uh, uh, they were not able to learn the seven uh, the seven commandments by heart so he reduced them to a single maxim okay and what was it in fact four legs good two legs bad four legs good two legs bad and uh, he was good at making strategies which were clear and beneficial for the animals he wanted the animals to learn reading and writing and formed special committees for their welfare so what kind of leader was he he was a good leader and what did he want he wanted the betterment of the animals so he had all positive traits you may say on the other hand napoleon was a tyrannical uh, dictator dictator is the right word for him who is a dictator yes who does not bother about the opinion or the welfare of the people and takes decisions only according to him 
on the basis of uh, if he thinks it will be good for him he takes it he does not think about the public or the uh, people of the country hmm. or the place okay very good very nice very nicely explained can you can can you cite one or two examples of the dictators from the world and from the real world adolf hitler very nice adolf hitler yeah yeah very very, very good so uh, on the other hand uh, napoleon as i told you was a tyrannical uh, leader a tyrannical dictator he was very unkind he was very selfish he knew that um, he was no match to uh, snowball's intelligence and hence uh, he overthrew him by force he was selfish and while the other animals of the form went hungry he actually got fat uh, he used uh, lies against snowball to belittle his contributions to make a name for himself because he was not as popular as snowball was so he knew that he wouldn't be able to uh, like win the favor of the animals uh, by by true means by healthy means so what did he do he uh, um, uh, he used bad means or unhealthy means for that he 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 uh, uh, in fact threw snowball away from the form by force he used lies against snowball to belittle his contributions he was greedy and in no way uh, uh, in no way you may say thought for the good of the animals greater good hmm? he he took no interest in snowball's committees the committees that were formed by him okay he said that the education of the young was more important than uh, anything that could be done for those who were already grown up like you know they were grown up animals there and uh, they, they, they were nine pigs pigs also nine puppies so he 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 was more interested in bringing those nine puppies okay why because he wanted to bring them up and um, in fact in the course of the novel we see that they, they turn out to be ferocious dogs these the, these young puppies they turn out to be ferocious dogs and they, they become his bodyguards and whosoever um, raises his voice against raises his voice against napoleon he gets them killed with the help of those ferocious dogs so other animals you know the small animals uh, they were all um, they were all very afraid of uh, napoleon and his dogs puppies okay you have understood this yes sir. yes okay good thank you